Okay, so for this problem here, we are going to use Euler's method. And we know that Euler's method, I like to use the formula that says uh, yn is equal to yn minus 1 plus h f of x n minus 1 comma y n minus 1. That's a little bit different than what the formula booklet says, but this, the premise that this is one more than that is the key idea here. And so what I'm going to work on is I'm going to make a table with n, xn, and yn. And I know when n equals 0, I get my initial condition where x is 0 and y is 1. Okay, and I'm also going to put into here, I'm going to try this here is my derivative. And so my formula, and I have to write this formula down for to get partial credit in or method points and for the IB. So this is going to be x n minus 1, y n minus 1, because that's x and y. Oh. And plus 2x n minus 1. Okay, this is going to be the formula I'm going to use. My h is going to be 0 0.1, and I'm going to use this particular value here. And so, if I want to show you the very first one, if I want to find y1, well, that's going to be y0 plus h, which I know is 0 0.1 which is 0 0.1, and this is going to be x0, y0, plus 2, x sub 0. So y1 will be then, y0 I know is 1, plus 0 0.1, and this is going to be 0 times 1, 0 and 1, plus 2 times x0 is 0. And so then I know that y1 will be uh, will be 1. Okay, and so but x, I know that x1 is going to be 1, or sorry, 0 0.1. So when n is 1, I get xn to be 0 0.1 and y to be 1. Okay? And this is going to keep on going forever. I'm going to keep on going until I'm at the value of x equal to 1. So there's really going to be 10 iterations of this, and then I'm going to get 1 for x. But that's going to be too much work to do by hand. Euler, he had to do it by hand. We're not going to do it by hand. We're going to use our technology. And so if I use technology here, I'm going to make sure that I am in sequence mode. And when I go to y equals, I've already put the information in. Um, I get n minimum, I'm doing 0, x0, zero, y0, zero. it's the 0 one. u is this little u here, so second number 7, n minus 1, and it's going to be 0, 1. So it's going to say this is 0, that's what this says, is 0, plus 0 0.1. Uh, when I go down to this one, I've got this is my y, n minus 1 plus 0 0.1, I'm going to type all of this in. It's a lot to type in, and it's a lot of parentheses, and you can't see a lot, so be careful. And then my v0 is equal to 1. And now when I go to my table, well, table set, I'm going to start at 0, and go by 1s, and then I'm going to go here. And so you can see here is my table. Here's my table. 0 and 1, 1, and 0 0.1 and 1, 2, and so on. When I continue to go all the way down, I can see that my estimate when x equals 1, y is 2.6413. So by Euler's method in my calculator, I know that y at 1 is going to be 2.6413.
So there's how we can use our calculator to help us out. Now, I want to do the same method, but separate it and find the exact value. So if I want to find the exact value now, I have to do separate my variables. So dy dx, if I pull out my x, I get y plus 2. And I'm going to divide by y plus 2 dy and it'll be x dx. And so when I take the integral of that, I get ln y plus 2 is equal to 1 half x squared plus c. And I know it's y at 0 equals 1. If I, if I raise this to the power e and this to the power e, this is y plus 2 is equal to e to the half x squared times e to the c. Plug it in my values, I get y is 1, I get 3 is equal to e to the 0 times e to the c, e to the c. And so e to the c is equal to 3. And so y plus 2 equals 3 e to the half x squared. And so y is equal to 3 e to the half x squared minus 2. And I'm looking for when x is equal to 1. So when I do that, if I go to my calculator, I get 3 e to the 0.5 times 1 squared minus 2. 2. And I get... 2.94616. And if I want, and then C part finally says determine the percent error between the two. Well, my percent error is going to be the absolute value of the two of these numbers subtracted. And this answer was 64.13 minus 2.6413 and divided by the 2.94616. And when I do that calculation, I always do the absolute value sign in my head, 0.94616 minus 2.6413 divided by the answer. So I get it's off by 10.3% is the percent error. So there's how we can, we can do both separable equations or we can use Euler's method with our calculator. Our calculator is what's expected in this class. You have to make sure you can work through all these U's and V's and go through this calculation. You must also show the formula that you used in your calculator.